Welcome to our lecture online. Here is something that all of us struggle with. It is so tempting to look at something that looks like this and go, wow, we have 21 plus 1, 29 plus 1. Obviously, we can reduce the plus 1s on both sides. But can we? Is that indeed allowed? Can we go ahead and do this? And the answer is no, we cannot do that. That's a big no. Why not? Well, you can only do that if they are factors. Factors meaning when the numbers are multiplied together. For example, if you have 21 times 1 divided by 29 times 1, then you can reduce the 1s, although reducing by 1 doesn't make any difference in this case. So let me show you maybe a better example. Let's say that this was the number 2. Then you can say, yes, I can reduce both the numerator and the denominator by dividing the numerator by 2 and dividing the denominator by 2 and getting this. That is allowed, but when we're adding the numbers together like this, when we have two separate terms, you cannot do that. Again, the reason is, whatever we do to the numerator, we must do exactly the same to the denominator. And we mean the whole numerator and the whole denominator. So that means we have to divide the whole numerator by something and the whole denominator by something. So this is not permitted. Same with this example. Again, it would be very tempting to say, can't we divide both the numerator and the denominator by 3? The answer is no, because we're adding these two terms together. And so the answer is no, we cannot do that. Again, the rule is, whatever we do to the numerator, we must do the denominator. And we talk about the whole numerator and the whole denominator, not just one of the terms. And even if they write it like this, you might say, well, can we not divide the numerator and the denominator by 2 here? So 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1, and 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. The answer is no, we cannot do that. It is not permitted. Again, because we see the plus signs here, we must do that to the whole numerator and the whole denominator, not just one of the terms. And also, we cannot go, ah, we can divide this by the same number. Again, the answer is no, we cannot do that. It is not permitted. We can only do that if they are multiplied together, if they are factors. For example, if we have 2 times the square root of 3 and 4 times the square root of 3, then we can say, first of all, we can divide both the numerator and the denominator. Uh, divide both the numerator, oop, that should be a dot, by the square root of 3 and divide the denominator by the square root of 3. So first of all, this would become equal to 2 over 4, and then we can take the number 2 over 4 and say we can divide both the numerator and the denominator by 2, and we end up with 1 over 2. So only when there are factors, factors means when they're multiplied together, we can go ahead and do that, not when they're added together. So be very careful, don't fall in those traps, make sure you can tell the difference, and that's how it's done.